Alright guys, this is Comic 84 here, back again. Pretty much we're going to do a leather unboxing and review of the XSPC. That's a little bit too heavy. This is the Racer 750 RX 360 water cooling kit. This is the, the best water cooling kit you can get for starting one of them, the affordable ones, and the affordable side because of the, the RX 360 radiator. Just like the RX 240, comes with the updated uh, Ray Storm block. They got rid of they discontinued the Rasta um, block, and it's a RX 360. The clear, they did make the the black neon uh, version two. I think I'm not remember. This has actually the X2 uh, X20 750 pump is still good, um, but the value of it, it's a good starter for what you're getting for and the price of everything. But uh. Let this open this up real quick. Um, let me try to see if I can open this. It's a pain in the rear to open this up. You get the tubing, about three meters, seven sixteen five eighths tubing. Uh, first of all, you get the actual AMD bracket with this. It's about thirteen bucks. We have a little bit more on our website. I already showed you a little bit what it is different on the last video, but um. I mean, you see the other one, and you're gonna see both of these. I don't want to really take it apart. You you get a AT, ATX bridge to power on your um, power supply. You get six gator clamps, six compress uh, not compress but barbs, black chrome, and you actually have the stand to mount it outside your case if you like. It's a good affordability uh, item on that. Thank you very much, XSPC, for that. It's a block. Um, one, two, three, three fan grills comes with that. You get the standard sleeved um, 120, uh, 1650, uh, 1650 RPM fans. Well, they're sleeved. You can tell they didn't really tie them down very well. But anyway. Um, you get your pump, it's right here actually, the manual, I just want to show you a little bit what is the difference with the RX 240 and the RX 360, the same thing in the kit, if you guys look at the first video, of uh, the RX 240, um, a review, unboxing and review of that one, it's the same thing, but that one's a little bit better detailed, I want to show you the RX uh, 360. It's really big. Um, for the price of it, it's not bad. Um, same instructions. Uh, be careful if you go through it. You avoid a warranty. He comes with uh, six. Uh, let's see. You have enough screws in here to mount it and to install your fans. Because there are six. Hold on one second. So you get actual the 360 radiator is very very thick. Just remember, I would recommend getting something that is very very thick. Um, remember that um, you have to get a case that can able to do. If you guys are trying to do push pull. If you get really good fans, I would recommend just using these and using these as external out. That would be enough to take it out and not to spend too much money. But um, here's the pump. I really don't want to take it apart. It's kind of rare to do this. But you get pretty much everything in here. Your pump, 
your accessories. But uh, I wanted to show you the RX360. Um, this block I use myself. Um, It's really hard when you have one hand. Yep. Oh, we read that. Come on. I gotta. I have the flash on the camera right now. I'm just trying to show you how it looks like. It looks pretty nice. I have this one. I do recommend it. You get a 2011, LJ 2011, 1366, 1155, 1156, 775. With this, um, you actually have the mounting for the 1366, um, 1155, 1156, LJ 775. And quite obvious, you don't you don't need a back plate, but mark here 2011. You have thermal compound, two LED. Uh, um, Three millimeter, and you have all your brackets inside there. With the with this, you have enough to take care of what you need to do. Um, a lot of people say that this block is somewhat mid range or too cheap, but to be honest, having this for about a couple, almost close to like since I've been working here, um, I like the block. I mean, I wish I could get the chrome or the copper and change it, but uh, overall, I like it for the price. I would just get the copper or the chrome, remove this, and use the stock one. You have your LEDs, be made out of plastic, just remove the chrome part. You do a little customizing if you want. I mean, you could do so much with the stuff. I uh, um, wish that Access PC made more like a see through acrylic instead of like plexi black. I would do clear. I think that'll look pretty nice. You can actually see the water. Um, just there's so much things you could do and all that. Just be careful to uh, don't remove the actual uh, actual screws to uh, to inspect because there's a seal inside here, and it's, uh, it's a pain in the rear to to seal back in. It's a pain in the butt on this one. I would recommend um, making sure what you're doing because if you open it, it avoids the the warranty for the for the actual warmership of this part. So be be careful with that and. Um, So um, that's really about it, you guys. Um, the pump, I would later on recommend upgrading. Uh, if you're going to try to do uh, for your pump, this is only for CPU. Maybe slightly with the with the block, water block and just CPU, but slight overclocking. But uh, if you go a little bit more too much with that, I don't. It would eventually have problems, you know, if you're trying to overclock Ivy Ridge or Sunny Bridge for AMD. Um, most of the GPUs in the newer you know, 7900 uh, series and the 600 series are quite better on temperatures, on overclocking, boost and all this, so you're okay with that. But um, overall, this is a good value. I'll put a link description of the actual item of it. Alright, you guys, you guys hit the like button, please. I need that. See you guys a little bit later. This is Kilmec84.